Okay, I've got my primary tubing going and I've calculated my drips per minute and it's going well. The physician came around, he made um, a change in the orders. He didn't change my fluid, but what he did change was the rate. He wants the rate going much faster and knowing that he wants to go faster, I wanna be much more accurate with it. So I'm gonna put it on a pump next. So the thing that I need to go get is my plumb set. So you'll see that it has a cassette. That's how you'll know it's for a primary line for the plumb pump. So again, it tells you right where to tear. tubing out. I go ahead and take those off. And with the gravity you had to clamp, this one usually comes clamped, but I check it anyway. Just make sure that little white thing is pushed in. I've got that ready. So the easiest way usually is to disconnect your IV first, because I do have it on an intermittent infusion device. I've got a saline lock-in, so I can discontinue it from there first. So I had this secured down well. Now, I want to keep this say, um, sterile because it's still hooked up to my bag. So I've got it clamped earlier. And I'm just going to hang it so it's free hanging. If I had any doubt that it might touch something, I could put a blunt needle on there and then that would keep the end sterile. So that's sterile. Now I need to get my bag down and upside down because I'm going to take this out. Let's see. And again, I need to go straight down, not to the side where you puncture the bag. I've got that locked. Drip chamber, I'm going to fill it halfway. Now, the thing you need to know about filling the plumb pump tubing, this is your cassette. What you want to do is you want to look at the cassette. When you're looking at it, the blue is down, and when you look at this portion here, those of you from Minnesota, you'll see it looks like the state of Minnesota. That's what we want to fill first. Minnesota is looking at you. It's not upside down, but it's looking right at you. So. Remember, we pushed it in to clamp it, so we're going to pull this out to unclamp it. And you can regulate going back and forth how fast or how slow. Now it's filling up. Got to the top. Now I'm going to fill the gray at lakes. And it filled. I'm just going to speed it up again by turning that white. It will speed it up. Some facilities will use a pump for everything and some will use gravity or a pump, kind of a nurse's discretion and determining whether your patient needs it or not. Um, do know that pumps are charged out to your patients, so if they do, are only gonna be there for a short-term stay, maybe the gravity tubing will work. It got to the end, so I clamped by pushing that white in. All right, now I think what I might do is I can go ahead and hook it up to my patient now. Now I know this is patent because there was an IV running in it. If I didn't know for sure, I would flush it first to make sure. So I've scrubbed my clave off. I hooked it on. I'm going to loop it and secure it with tape again. I might get new tape, but this is handy, so we'll just use that for now. Okay. Get your cassette again, and right here is where you can hang on. And turn your machine on. A self-test will appear, and you're just waiting for that. It's checking 
to see if the cassette was primed correctly. Now it's asking for the rate. Now on this particular machine, this is your primary, so primary would be your A. So A, I recall that he wanted a thousand milliliters in eight hours, but then he switched the order, he wants it 200 mils per hour, and that's why we were putting it on the pump. So 200 mils per hour. The next column there is VTBI, volume to be infused. So um, regardless of what size of bag you have, the rate is always the same, but the volume to be infused depends on what size of bag you have here, whether it's a bag that has 2,000 milliliters or 1,000 or 500 like this. The key is that I don't want my bag to go dry. So um, a safe thing to do is since there's 500 milliliters in here, I would probably set it at 450. That gives me some time to go to the Pixis, get a new bag, check it with the orders, bring it in here. And at the same time, I might have two call lights on, I might be assisting with doctor's rounds, a lot of things that you're doing. So give yourself some leeway. So 200 mils per hour, my volume to be infused will be 450. This machine figures it out. It'll tell you that in two hours and 15 minutes, it'll be done and it will beep. And that tells you, get another bag up then I would just go ahead and push start. The only other thing, I've got my bag labeled. I'd make sure that I labeled my tubing. And I would go ahead and chart also. I'd chart that I put new tubing on, how much fluid I hung, the rate it's going, the condition of the site, if there was any complications I saw. And that's all that I would have to do.